This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four-minute forecast going over all the severe weather potential for both today and tomorrow across portions of Texas. Getting started with today, there is a slight risk for severe weather across far western Texas, as well as a marginal threat for those in central Texas, which does include Abilene. Main threats tonight will be the potential for some damaging wind gusts and maybe some very isolated large hail with a few of these storms, and also a potential for a very low-end tornado threat, but I don't expect it to be that high today. It's going to be maybe an isolated brief or weak tornado today. Take a look at the future right over this morning there's some scattered showers and storms rolling through eastern panhandle of texas and as well as into central and far northwestern north texas that will eventually uh, push into north texas later this morning in the afternoon hours eventually going into the evening hours we'll start to see a line of storms back out in new mexico which will eventually uh, move into the panhandle of texas bring the potential for some damaging winds and maybe some large hail again a very very low end tornado threat will exist i don't expect it to be much of a threat though i really expect the main threat being damaging winds with maybe some large hail that here and there eventually by mid night those storms will move into western oklahoma most of this will start to fizzle out as it moves out to the east i do expect some showers at least for portions of oklahoma but no severe weather is expected at this time all right let's take a look closer to north texas as i mentioned before a complex of storms will basically approach the metroplex most of this just being rain can't let an isolated strong storm here and there but i don't expect severe weather to be much of a threat here eventually by two to three o'clock most of this stuff will start to fizzle out as it goes through the metroplex and you can see maybe an isolated storm remaining by the evening hours but other than that we should be drying out for the most part all right heading into tomorrow there's a marginal threat for severe weather across far northern north texas and oklahoma as well as into kansas main threat is going to be damaging winds with this system as well and here's a look at the future radar in terms of uh basically late saturday we'll start to see some storms maybe fire up right around seven eight o'clock this will be pretty much an evening threat maybe in a couple of isolated cells that develop that it obviously i'm zoomed out because there's a couple of areas to watch maybe in central texas as well as maybe over into oklahoma will be two areas to watch very closely for maybe a couple of storms to develop initial storms might produce some large hail other than that i expect mainly damaging winds Let's see going into the overnight hours closer to one to two in the morning that area of storms will start pushing toward the metroplex and we might see some showers and storms across the north texas region how many of us will see storms the threats to be determined at this point so stay tuned again with north texas weather center for the latest all right we have a big pattern change coming later next week we'll start to see a trough dip down across the ohio valley now what will this do well it might bring us some showers and storms and a bit of a cold front it possibly heading into late next week so this will be definitely something to watch here's your trough right here and then there's your positively tilted trough and basically what this will do is maybe bring again a potential for some showers and storms positively tilted troughs usually don't bring much in terms of severe weather so just keep that in mind here's a look at the future radar we might see some scattered showers and storms across the central and maybe far northern southern plains over the next few uh, next few days going into next week but eventually we'll probably start to see that cold front come through late thursday or friday and kind of see here maybe a cold front bring some showers and storms depending on how far east this trough dips uh will really depend on how much storms activity that we see here in north texas i don't expect the panhandle to see much but definitely gonna be something to watch for later next week yeah more details on that as we get closer as of right now we have again uh, if you did not watch my watch in the tropics episode yesterday we have potential tropical cyclone one right now this is expected to become tropical uh storm alex no later than later today i mean we're going to be seeing this pretty quick quickly develop and it'll likely become at least a low-end tropical storm before making landfall here's the national hurricane center's forecast for tonight uh as our day at least for today excuse me uh the tropical storm will basically go through florida most likely going to make landfall around 12 1 o'clock on saturday bringing a lot of heavy rain there is obviously a tropical storm warning now for those in southwestern florida uh basically along the uh, florida keys as well as near fort myers and cape coral and again a little the tropical storm go through florida and eventually go into the atlantic ocean which may strengthen a bit more as it gets closer to bermuda this might actually become a stronger tropical storm but sustained winds at this point not going to be anything beyond 50 to 55 miles per hour it looks like when it makes landfall and here's a look at the models and where they're bringing it at this point they're all really consistent where where, where it's going to go at this point so as of right now going to make landfall again in western florida this is not going toward texas don't panic but this will eventually go toward bermuda this might actually pose a threat to bermuda uh, but anyone in the bahamas or even the carolinas you may see an increased activity in waves other than that i don't expect much impact in those areas maybe some heavy rain for the bermudas but other than that uh, excuse me for the bahamas i don't know why it says bermudas but bahamas will probably see an increased amount of rain over the next several days and here's a look at the intensity guide most of the computer models are keeping it right around a tropical storm so just keep that in mind again we're not expecting a hurricane by any means all right temperatures this morning we're really waking up in the upper 60s and low 70s eventually by this afternoon we will warm up into the mid to upper 70s and low 80s varying how much rain we see this afternoon will really kind of determine where the temperatures are at today temperatures by the way for tomorrow morning will be waking up in the mid to upper 60s eventually by the afternoon 
many of us into the mid to upper 80s. So another little nice day ahead. Our extended forecast for the DFW Metroplex showing a lot of warmer weather. We're talking about 90s across the entire week. Cold front may come through again late next week. That might bring a cool down for next week and possibly back in the mid 80s. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, All Dents Repair, and Patriot Safe Rooms.